Hello, everyone. Today, we are very happy to have Tony today to present to us and do the interview. Uh, do you want to introduce yourself a little bit to our audience? Sure, happy to do it. My name is Tony Shakib. I'm part of the, um, from Microsoft, I'm part of the Azure IoT engineering team and focusing primarily on our, you know, ecosystem and how do we uh, help our customers and partners go to market faster. Mm -hmm. So, I heard your talk, it's very interesting, you, you uh, Microsoft have the IoT ecosystem. Do you have more to tell us? Yeah, so in terms of the ecosystem, we believe like, uh, you know, IoT is so diverse. There's so many different verticals. There's so many different applications. Yeah. There's really no one company can do it all. What we're trying to do is to like be the best at what we call the hyperscale cloud uh, set of path services, where we can provide a variety of you know solutions and applications that our customers and our partners can build on top of it, mm -hmm. and become a lot more domain specific for mm -hmm. different industries mm -hmm. and go to market. So. We look at a variety of different type of partners. Mm -hmm. Some of them are like basically just the developers, mm -hmm. you know, just training them on Azure set of capabilities that makes it very easy for them to develop. Mm -hmm. Some of them are more of us, you know, of ISVs mm -hmm. that are developing their own applications. So we help them build those applications on top of our platform. Mm -hmm. Some of them are more like uh, system integrators that take advantage of like the applications that are mm -hmm. there and put it together and customize it for the large enterprises. Mm -hmm. And then also the, you know, the, the third category that we're spending a lot of time is solution aggregators. Mm -hmm. You know, people that then have the channels, like even like telcos, they can take, you know, packet solutions that are already there and then deploy it for the masses. Mm -hmm. And you know, there's of, of course the device makers and gateway makers as well that we spend a lot of time with mm -hmm. them. And then just kind of like developing all of these different ecosystems, matchmaking them together, and then make it easier for the customers when they're looking for something to mm -hmm. find the solutions and the partners to work with. That's what we do. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Uh, the other question is, the IoT actually is quite complex things. Like we often have company come to us to say, okay, we want to have IoT, but we don't know how could we do it, how should we start it, and many, many steps and layers. And I'm happy to hear that, that Microsoft has a simplified IoT. So what's, this, what's that mean? And uh, what's the steps you use to actually help the, um, those companies to deploy IoT simply? Yeah, there's three uh, different strategies that we have at Microsoft to simplify IoT. One is, Obviously, we're trying to uh, build the most sophisticated set of path services. Mm -hmm. So for people that really do have the cloud experience mm -hmm. and architectural knowledge, they can take advantage of that and build it themselves. Mm -hmm. Or we have system integrators that are already trained that can build it for mm -hmm. them. So that's mm -hmm. kind of like step number one that we've been doing for a long time. Mm -hmm. The other thing that we've done over the last year or so is we created a set of solution accelerators mm -hmm. where instead of people having to build everything from scratch, mm -hmm. we have pre-built a number of solutions like remote monitoring, preventative maintenance, mm -hmm. or even a connected factory mm -hmm. where almost like 80% of it is already there and it's open source, they can take all of that and then they can do the final you know, 20, 30% of custom work and get to market a lot faster. Mm -hmm. So that's been the second mechanism that's been you know, very helpful. And then lastly, the thing that we just did, you know, about a month ago, and where they were very happy to say we're the first hyperscale cloud provider to provide a complete SaaS solution, a program that we call IoT Central, or for people that have absolutely like no cloud experience, mm -hmm. they can very quickly take advantage of our IoT Central uh, solution. And mm -hmm. whether it's just one device or a million device, mm -hmm. they can start experimenting. Mm -hmm. And if everything works, then they can go to you know, commercial production mm -hmm. with confidence. So mm -hmm. those are the three things that we can do, that we are doing mm -hmm. to really help for every type of audience mm -hmm. to make it a lot simpler to build things and go to market. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, the other question is, normally the IoT devices is quite big, and I heard you mention that you will be able to put it into the uh, smaller level, smaller scale, like the uh, microprocessor level. Did you want to tell uh, a little bit about it? Yeah, one of the other things that we're really excited about is a program that we call Azure Sphere that we announced, uh, I think it was uh, in March of this year. And essentially, it's a very unique technology that we developed inside Xbox, mm -hmm. right, to make sure that we can provide a high level of security 
for like very low cost, low end devices mm -hmm. that will end up actually being probably the ma vast majority mm -hmm. of the IoT devices. Mm -hmm. And today, almost like 90% of them are not secure, mm -hmm. right? And then we've applied these uh, seven inherent uh, technologies that if, if you apply them, we believe that you have a very high confidence level, or we, we have a high confidence level mm -hmm. that these things would be secure. Mm -hmm. And then we developed this Azure Sphere program mm -hmm. that uh, we are actually licensing that IP to a number of chip makers, mm -hmm. and it's a tri-core processor mm -hmm. that will make sure that one, you know, the uh, there's root of trust established mm -hmm. in these low-end devices, mm -hmm. so we know that they're authentic. Two. The two other operating systems, mm -hmm. you know, will make sure that they will not be compromised. And mm -hmm. three, we actually provide a 10-year service that we will monitor these devices. And if anything out of the ordinary happens, mm -hmm. then we can provide the alerts and then the patching mechanism. Mm -hmm. So anyway, we're pretty excited about it. Mm -hmm. And now that's going to really help uh, help us provide that capability and technology mm -hmm. to much lower end microcontroller level type of devices like fridges coffee makers and things like that, mm -hmm. that people weren't considering mm -hmm. or were unsecure before. Mm -hmm. So that's that program. Mm -hmm. uh, many people said IoT has a hype and it has already passed the peak. So what do you think um, about this idea? And uh, what do you think the, the factory or people would be in five years in IoT? Yeah, so I, I agree with you. I honestly do believe that we're crossing the chasm. We're seeing mm -hmm. much less experimentation, mm -hmm. proof of concepts, and people are very seri serious about commercial deployment, mm -hmm. and a lot of them are in the commercial deployment. Mm -hmm. So that that is happening. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, the, the only, so I think the technology challenge for the most part is resolved. We have the capability to do it. Mm -hmm. I think the part that's taking longer is the business process changes, uh -huh. is organizational changes, is people just getting more comfortable with yeah, yeah, using adaption. technology. Mm -hmm. And even in this digital transformation, we have a lot of large customers that have digitized like two out of their 130 factories. Mm -hmm. So they still have like another 128 to go. Mm -hmm. But you know, to go after the legacy, those things take time. Mm -hmm. So I think we're well on our way, mm -hmm. but still a long way to go. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much today. My um, pleasure. Hope you enjoyed the type of show. It was very good. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.